Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here, I'd love it if you subbed and stayed. About time for another Lardy video. I can hear a few of you screaming at me. About bloody time. Um, This is an old one. It's called Happy Thanksgiving. I love you. Please help me. <sighs> I've said before, I love going on these old videos and reading the comments and counting how many people no longer comment to her. It's really interesting to see all the subbies that she had that she's alienated. Anyway, should we jump in? Happy Thanksgiving Day after everybody. Is it my setup or my aging laptop? But is that really quiet for everybody else? Oh my God, I have not vlogged. I'm just really focusing on my recovery. It has been slow going. <clears throat> I want to do a proper vlog for everybody and I will, I promise. But I just really want you all. When has she ever done a proper vlog? Like, what proper vlogs are supposed to be? A vlog, Lardy, does not mean you sitting in your car singing to yourself or talking to yourself. You're in a new place. You never show us anywhere. God, if I was out and about, I'd do proper vlogs. It's like, I love looking at where people go. Even if it's just B&M. Do you know what I mean? I love a good B&M haul. Take me into the shop. Walk around. Because I don't get to do it. There's, um, like I've said before, if you if you hear and you listen, <laughs> my husband watches a load of walking people, and he gets to see Japan and Hong Kong and America, all places in America and whatever. And he's like, that's the only way we're ever going to get to see anything. So if you're vlogging, vlog, go out, do something. Don't have the camera facing you. We've seen you. We know what you look like. Anyway, rant over. Also know that I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving yesterday. Why is she shaking her head then? Body language experts would have a fucking field day with her. I hope you all had a great day with whatever you did, even if it was nothing. Even if it was nothing. It's okay. I've done nothing by myself last year on Thanksgiving. I was all alone and my mother literally lived a few blocks from me and I didn't even see her. It Whose choice was that? Whose choice was that? You think everyone should go to you, kiss your hole, do everything you want to do and pander to you. Why didn't you think just for once? I'm going to cook a Thanksgiving meal and I'm going to drive around to my mother's with a meal I've cooked for her for Thanksgiving. No, of course not. It happens. What did I do for my Thanksgiving? Shawnee and Kevin came over and my friend Marsha, who is also a subscriber and customer, but now she's a friend, <clears throat> a very, very good friend. They all came over. We all brought something different. Um, it was all vegan. We had wine and... What did you bring? Dying to know. What did you hand cook and slave over and bring to the Thanksgiving get together? Um, I had wine and pain pills. I know, bad combination. But I was fine. <laughs> and we sat by my pool. It was 78 degrees. There was not maybe one or two people there that I actually knew. And we sat on comfy sofas and we laughed and we talked and we prayed and we gave thanks and we ate vegan food so no animals were harmed in our Thanksgiving. Oh, listen to it. We prayed and we gave thanks. Would you be praying and giving thanks if... Shawnee wasn't there. That's the only reason you prayed and gave thanks was because Shawnee led the prayers. You never give thanks for anything ever and you should be down on your fucking hands and knees praying 
to the Lord, whoever your Lord is, saying thank you for the privileged fucking life I've had that I've sailed through. And then Shawnee and Kevin left, and I think they went home. They were planning on going... I think I'm going to have to turn this microphone off and just turn it on when I have something to say, because I don't know if it's happening your end, but I can't barely hear her when my microphone is on, so... Going to the beach and making s'mores and having wine, but I think they just went to their beautiful house and spent the rest of the evening with their, um, their doggies. Their beautiful house that you tore to pieces after they weren't your friends anymore. <sighs> Such a fucking two-faced lying twat. And then Marsha came back here with me. She stayed till 10. We just talked and talked and talked and talked and then we ate more and <clears throat> it was just great. And Burke was in Santa Monica and then he came home and... um and then I went to sleep. So, with that said, you guys, I know that I've announced it, but not enough. Here's the deal. Email me for my November Black Friday all month long special. Because yeah, does anyone remember this fiasco? Email me for my special deal that I'm not allowed to do in Sensi Rules, but nobody says anything to anybody because I, they're too scared to say anything against me so email me so nobody else knows that you've done this and you have no comeback whatsoever and i guarantee you if you spend x y or z with me i will send you extra stuff when did she actually send the extra stuff out if she sent it to everybody? Because I got fucking messages from people that didn't receive theirs at all, no matter how many times they tried to contact her, and in the end they were blocked. So she sent stuff to a few people, but not to everybody. And people say I'm mean. Mm-hmm. Because you really don't want to miss it. I haven't announced it very much on here. I'm going to be doing little announcements from now until the end of November because I really don't want you to miss out on the amazing special that I'm doing. You don't want to miss out, but you do need to email me first. Uh, is this going in? Are we all listening? Has she said the word that turns you into a dog yet? <laughs> you know how the hypnotists do. Every time I say Friday, you'll bark like a dog. I just picked that word out and that's funny. Friday do be lardy. Anywho, bye, bye, bye. Extra, extra, email, email. Whatever. LL42863 at yahoo.com. Email me first because you need to know the special before you make a purchase. And if you've never tried Sensi or anything from Sensi, now is the time because the incentive that I have, the incentive special, you're going to want it. You're going to. What is she trying not to say? What is she not allowed to say? She's tiptoeing around words. The incentive special. Hmm? What? What are you. Is this breaking all the sensey rules? I think it actually might be. Why sensey put up with you for as long as they did? I have no clue. I want to know, and this is when, this is your time to try my beautiful product that... My beautiful product? It's not yours! You're in a fucking MLM. But not anymore. It's not yours. Fuck's sake. It's not like you sat down and you fucking mixed it all. No, you didn't. I want you to try because you will fall in love. I want you to fall in love. Do you understand? Bye, 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 bye. I want you to fall in love. And I have something that you're going to fall in love with. 
and it's gonna bring you joy. And it's not a lot of money, but it's a high quality product, beautiful warmers, beautiful scents that scent your home nicely, softly, specially. They are not candles. People call it wickless candle, but it's so much more because a candle scents the house differently than the way that the mac wax is melted in the Scentsy warmer. How? Can you explain that to me? What an utter load of absolute bollocks. One, it's overpriced. Two, yes, they do make wonderful warmers. I want them all. They're amazing. They're really pretty. There's some I really like the look of. I will let you have the warmer thing. Yes, they've got warmers on lockdown and it's a shame other companies don't realise and do the same thing that they're doing. The wax is nothing special. You can get scented wax from fucking anywhere. And th oh, here we go. Brum. Fuck off. Harley. Three. There's no fucking difference between how a candle scents a room and how Scentsy scents a room. They smell the same. Bring a blind person into the room and say, Right, what can you smell? Warm vanilla and sugar. Okay. Is it a candle or is it scentsy? Huh? Tell me. There's a difference. Can you tell me the difference? No! <sighs> Scentsy's great, or any wax warmer is great if you have animals and you don't want them knocking over a lit candle or you don't want your cat waving its tail over a lit candle or you just don't like having a lit candle it makes you nervous then warm wax i do both i'm not <laughs> i don't care <laughs> i'll do either but sensi is no no more special than anything else that scents the room you can tell she's been to one of them convention things, can't you? I'm sure, right? They don't realise it's happening. They all sit there in the big hall and then the speaker for the week comes out and hypnotises them all, but they're un unaware that's what's happening. And then they implant them with all this bollocks. So when they go out and start talking about it, they start fucking bleating out all this shite that they've been told at the fucking Sensi conference. It's bollocks! All of it is bollocks. If I was selling Scentsy, I'd be saying, they've got shit hot warmers. You want to see the warmers? You've got a room. We've got a warmer for that room. Any room, anywhere, any business, any time, name something. I can get you a warmer that will fit in with your decor. Or I can, anything that you're interested in. Oh, you like Friday night football? Got the perfect warmer for you. Oh, you like country and western music? Got the perfect warmer for you. Oh, you like Barbie? Got the perfect pink, glittery, you name it, we've got it. That's how I'd sell it. Oh, and by the way, we sell scented wax too. <laughs> so even those of you that are sensitive to scents or don't like strong scents, there's something for everyone. White tea and cactus. It's very mellow. Very spa-like. Oh, here we go again with the fucking spa-like bollocks. If someone is sensitive to scent, then they are sensitive to fucking scent. End of story. Stop trying to sell them scent. But it's clean and it has a fruity essence because cactus is a succulent. So it has that fruitiness to it. But it's nice. It's just picture coming into your house and it just smells nice.
you need to picture coming into your home and it just smells nice because you've got two dogs shitting in yours. People that are sensitive to scent wouldn't have dogs shitting in their house, so therefore they don't need fucking white cactus and tea or whatever the fuck it is you're whittering on about. Most people's homes smell lovely without the added crap on top. You are the one that needs fucking sensi. <laughs> she can't, she just doesn't see it, does she? Oh, I love coming into my house and smelling scentsy. Yeah, you would. It's much fucking nicer than coming in and smelling dog shit. It doesn't smell like blueberry cheesecake. It doesn't smell like gingerbread donut. It doesn't smell like roses. It smells nice. So there's a difference. Oh, right, okay. So what does nice smell like? Your nice and my nice could be two entirely different things. So now you're trying to sell nice to people that don't like scent. How do you know that their non-scented nice smells anything like succulents? Fucking bollocks. She'll tell you anything just to sell. She will tell you anything just to get you subscribing and sending her money. She will tell you anything she thinks you want to hear to keep you on her channel. Can you not see this, people? She just moved from Sensi. When she had Sensi to sell, she had something to sell and she got a kickback. Now she doesn't have anything to sell. So what does she do? She just keeps going on and on and on and on and on and on so that you feel sorry for her. She's playing on your empathy so that you will give her fucking super chat for nothing. That you'll pay on Patreon to watch fucking nothing. Why people come over here and fucking go into battle for this woman, I will never understand. Everyone wants to smell something that smells nice. Don't you want your home to smell nice? Oh, here we go with the guilt trip. Everyone wants to smell something that's... Don't you want your home to smell nice? Their home probably already does. And if they're sensitive to scent, then their answer would be no. <sighs> you don't want your home to smell. Lots of people don't want their homes to smell of something. But for it to smell nice... You buy a warmer and white tea and cactus or sea salt and avocado or another scent that I can help you pick and it will smell nice. I am called a Scentsy consultant. I'm not a rep. I do not rep Scentsy. I mean, I represent Scentsy, but I'm not a rep. I'm so are you or aren't you? They employed me to sell scent. They employ anybody, anybody that's got the $49 or the $100 or whatever it happens to be at that time to sign up to become a consultant can sign up and become a consultant. I could. I could be a Scentsy consultant. Could I describe a scent? Not for the life in me, but that won't stop them taking my 100 and whatever to join. And it won't stop the people in my upline screaming at me to sell stuff. Do you get interviewed to see if you can describe sense before you become a sensey rep? No. So don't fucking sit there telling us that you've got some special power that you haven't fucking got. I'm not a sensey salesperson. I don't sell it. It sells itself. It's that good. All I do is present it. Right, if it sells itself, all you need to do is, I'm a Sensi rep if you're interested. Oh, sorry, I'm a Sensi consultant if you're interested. End of thing. But no, you lot go on and on and on and on and on. I'd love to know how many people bought uh, a warmer and wax just to shut her up. 
Then they got it and they weren't that impressed and they never went back to get any more wax and she hounded the fucking life out of them. Oh, you must need more by now. Oh, we've got a special on this week. Oh, look, if you buy this bar, you get that bar. Oh, isn't this wonderful? It's purple. How many people look at the colour of the wax they're burning? They don't. Nine times out of ten, the warmer's up higher than them or it's tucked away somewhere where it's not going to get knocked over. They put a fucking lump of wax in, they walk away and they say, oh, that smells nice. They don't fucking say, oh, that purple one. It smells really purple. It doesn't matter. They do all this to try and grab you on every level. Are you a purple lover? We've got you covered. Are you a scent lover? We've got you covered. Do you collect things? We've got you covered. Do you know what I mean? Show it to you. Share it with you. Share my experience with you about my product. You buy it. You experience it. You love it. It sold itself. If you... Why is she laughing? What's so funny, Lardy? Duper's delight. If you ever feel from me that I am selling, you turn and run as fast as you can. But that's what you're doing now, fuckwit. You're selling. You are selling to me. I don't, everyone says, oh, Lori, you're so good at selling. I'm not. I'm only good at being so passionate about my product, my love for my product. It's not yours. How many more fucking times? I totally get people that make stuff or they've invented stuff or they've written a book. Or whatever, being passionate about it. You're not passionate about Sensi. You're passionate about making money. You're passionate about getting all the dumb fucks that watch you and listen to you and buy into everything you say to buy a warmer and then be stuck having to buy wax from you for the rest of life. That's what you want. That I am able to relay it to you so that you try it and then you will like it i need my job in life is to get this product in front of you in your hands so that you can fall in love so how do i get it in front of you yes i do youtube videos because i have a huge audience <clears throat> that's great i get it in front of you I get it in front of people that I meet on the, on the street. It's soot free. You can leave it on 24 seven without risk of fire and you still get the ambiance of a candle, the smell. Sorry, we still get the what? The ambiance of a candle, but you just said it was different to a candle. So which is it? Is it like scenting a room with a candle or not? She can't even stick to one fucking line in the same video. She lies and lies about the lies and people buy all this bollocks. Of a candle, sort of. It's so much better than a candle. There are no harmful VOCs. They are, the wax is paraffin, so no bees are involved. No bees were made to made wax, so it's vegan. It um, it is soft, so it melts at a lower temperature. So that's why we can have a light bulb that won't burn you. If you spill the wax, if you touch the wax, if the wax spills on your child, there's a picture of this little boy wax. Here she goes. Guilt trip, guilt trip, guilt trip, guilt trip. Any one of you out there with children that bought candles endangered your little ones. You should be ashamed of yourself. Are you feeling guilty yet? Yeah, come on by Sensi, because that won't harm them. Whatever. 
because it's all spilled on him and he looks sad. He's not sad because he's burned or hurt. He's sad because he looked pink. He had pink wax from Sensi that he got into and it spilled on him. We partnered once with Shriners because that's Shriners Burn Institute. They chose us to partner with because we are a safe, safe product. The light bulbs are made special. They're made so that the heat of the light bulb is not concentrated in one area. The light bulbs are spe made specially, are they? Mm-hmm. I seem to remember after you got the sack, you said any old light bulb would do. She's never better than she when she's been brainwashed by bollocks. She'll re spiel all that bollocks they've brainwashed her with just to get you to put your hand in your pocket it's concentrated in the middle and then it tapers up so that that's how it melts the wax slowly evenly perfectly so that the wax never gets hot enough to burn you then we've got laundry line and dish washing line and hand soap and body line because everything while it does have chemicals but everything has chemicals water is a chemical these are not harmful chemicals there's a difference so if you spray with our counter cleaner it will clean your counters in a non-harmful way when you use windex you're spraying with ammonia Really? Buy our spray instead of that spray, because our spray's... Uh, which... What? No! Look at the face. <sighs> lie, lie, lie. And ammonia is bad. It's a harmful chemical. If you swallow it, it's bad. Who's going to swallow the counter cleaner? You might, because you're a fuckwit. Most people just clean their counters with counter cleaner and they have it in a cupboard with a lock on if they have children. Fucking irritating. Lying. Meh. There's a poison control thing on the back. Harmful if swallowed. Contact poison control. Ours don't have those warnings, okay? There are no warnings unless there are warnings, you know? You'd have to really look. I'd have to look on the back of the bottle to see, but I don't. <laughs> there are no warnings unless there's warnings. Oh, I don't really know. I think I'd have to go and check first. <laughs> You're a fuckwit of the highest order believe that there are warnings there's no tag on the bottom of our warmers the way they are there are tags on the bottom of a walmart mart warmer sorry i'm a little bit out of it right now i just took a pain pill so that i can do my exercises but on the bottom of a walmart warmer is a warning label saying that do not leave this unattended it is a fire poses a fire hazard. Ours does not have that warning because it doesn't. Yeah, the Walmart warmer probably has that sticker on there because they have to have that sticker on there, but it probably doesn't do that at all. It's like the FDA saying that certain eyeshadows aren't eye safe. They're saying that because they haven't tested them. We have. We know they're safe. We use them in the EU. Just because it says. It's like saying. Banging this hammer on your knee. May cause pain. Who's going to fucking do it? No one. Dumb fuck. And then lastly. I am really trying to earn. A. All expense paid cruise. Through the company. I have until January 31st to do it. When I go on that cruise, because I'm going, 
I see myself there. I'm working towards being there. I will work really hard to be there. It leaves. I will work really hard at hammering home to all of you that you need to buy Scentsy Warmers and Wax so I can go on an all expenses paid cruise, which she never went on. It's from Barcelona. It's on Royal Caribbean's brand new ship that was, let's see, it's being built right now. Um, it's called Symphony of the Seas, largest cruise ship ever built. And it sails from Barcelona all through Rome, Italy, wait, Rome, Florence, and wait, Rome, Florence, and what's the other one? Rome, Florence, and... Venice. Then it sails to Provence, France, and then sails to Provence, France, and then I would be taking a plane, a bunch of different planes back to California. I'd be going sometime in June, I forget when it sails, we're going to be on one of its maiden voyages, like maybe the 20th voyage. And she wants you to pay for her to go. She never did go. But if she had have gone, she was going to say, oh, and I'll vlog the entire thing. All you ever vlogged, from what I saw, on cruises, was the inside of your cabin and you getting drunk at the pool. I saw nothing else. You didn't show any of the places you went to. You didn't do a tour of the ship. Nothing, just you drinking and trying to dance. And... I am going to vlog the whole time for you. You guys, you will get to see all of What did I just say? We won't get to see bugger all. Do you want to see Lori Beth in Europe and bring you guys? I will. I will bring you. It's going to be so much fun. You talk about fun vlogs. I will have amazing content for you. <clears throat> I want to give that to you really spiff it up really make you have something great to watch fun really oh yeah i'm gonna spend money so you can go on holiday no <laughs> funny it'll be drunkity drunk 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 lori it's gonna show you food i'm gonna have two brand new knees but i need to get there and only you can help me so can you post can you share? Can you do whatever you need to do to help me? I'm asking for help to get on that cruise so that I can provide you with amazing videos that will bring joy to your life. Oh, go fuck yourself. You have never made videos that have brought joy to my life ever why do i want to see you drunkity drunk 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 on a cruise that's supposed to bring me joy is it watching you drunk and making fucking goo goo eyes at the band and pretending you know how to dance that's not what i want to see on a cruise i want to see what the shows were like i want to see what the band was like I want to see the view as you're sailing out in the middle of nowhere. Did I get to see any of that with you? No. I think you can help me. Let's do it together. I can't do it alone. So if it's your first time. Oh, I'm sorry. This the, fucking no. The voice and the eyes are making me want to puke. You really need to help me. You want to help me, don't you? You want to see me get drunk on a fucking boat? No, we fucking don't. Time purchasing Sensi. Let's do it now. Email me. You'll hear right back from me. I get back to everybody. And I'll tell you what the incentive is, the special, and then you can make your purchase based on that. 
and in seven to ten business days you will receive a beautiful beautiful product and you will write me back and you will say I just received my Sensi thank you so much every the minute you open the box it's gonna smell wonderful okay please do that for me guys I don't ask a lot I don't ask a lot okay in your mind for things I'm not I'm a giver <laughs> and I am giving you will be getting but I am asking for help I'm asking all my lovely people that have stuck with me for years through thick and thin to get me on that ship so that I can give back to you in June the funnest cruise I've ever gone on I promise not to disappoint hmm. and the special is really really <clears throat> really good so not only you're gonna get Sensi that you ordered but you're gonna get something from me okay I've said enough I love you all so much do you know how I, much I love you hmm. do you have any idea I do I love you I love you. Yeah. I love you. Book. Really? And people buy this bullshit. Really? That would make me go to anybody but her and buy Sensi if I was even remotely interested in trying it. She'd be the last person I'd buy it from. Oh, buy stuff from me so I can go on holiday. So I get paid for selling it and I get a holiday. What do you get? <laughs> Anywho, thank you if you stay to the end with me and I will catch you in the next one.